Welcome back to another, well, it's not really a mod review, it's a, it's a game review, but the game is more of a mod than a game. It's the form spec editor game. Th there's really no game involved. It's, it's a form spec editor is what it is, which is great. And here's why, because with a touch of magic, I have, uh, text for a form spec here so I can I can do anything I want I can change this exclamation point to a period I save the file and it might be hard to tell in the video um, so let's let's actually change something a little more drastic let's put that back to an exclamation point and let's go ahead and change the position to 0 0.5 from 0.375 and uh, let's make it even more drastic there that you definitely could see um, I'm not sure if the smaller one was necessarily super easily visible. Um, let's go ahead and change this up as well. So let's put our player inventory a little lower. I think 10.5 might match a little better. Yeah, and let's, let's move this grab parts request form button because now that's much too low. Uh, if the player inventory is being drawn from 10.5 down we need to put this at maybe 9.5 well that's right on top of it so let's go to 9 so we have a bit of a a space in between there um this tall red is that red brown whatever color that is um that's just being done with uh here we go image we're displaying that at 10 crosswise, one up and down, and the image size is one. What do, they, what do you call these? Units? Cells? I don't know what they are. Grid spaces? It's one wide and it's five tall. So we can go ahead and we can change this to be two wide and we save it and it instantly updates. Now we see it's hitting the edge of our image. So let's go ahead and change this to nine so that fits in better and you know what? let's actually change that to 9.5 and we'll change the one to 0.5 and that pushes it a little closer to the corner which is definitely better and we're going to go ahead and actually duplicate this and we're going to make this one one wide three tall oh and we also want to change the item name uh, or the texture name. Now this, uh, the way it's running, you, I don't have any textures. I guess you could technically go ahead and put textures in to build your form specs and use your actual textures. Um, but because I haven't put any texture files into the mod folder, uh, it's just drawing pretty much the unknown texture. Texture. So that's why we're getting that so now if I put this that should be more or less centered no let's try 1.5 there we go so that looks like that's more or less centered anything you can do in a form spec you can do here so we can go ahead and we can change the size let's make it 11 wide instead of 12 and you know what that was actually dumb let's maybe make it 15 tall instead of 16 tall yeah, well, now we're getting some stuff cut off, but this is this is good because we can say, okay, well, we want it 12 by 14. Um, this position thing, this might be new to some people. Um, I don't know. Can we just comment it out with... Well, that either breaks it or it makes it commented out. So <clears throat> without it, it goes to the center. Um, let me just turn off the text. So this is the mind test window here, and actually I'm going to go do something crazy. This might break things. I don't know how it's going to really work. Um, but you can see how your form spec works when you resize the window, which is helpful because, you know, it's it's good to know those things. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. So the position pretty much just defines where the form spec is actually drawn. And... I just learned about this before recording this video, looking in the API to figure out what this does. Um, so it's just your X and Y position from 0 to 1. So if I set this to 
0 and 0.5. Um, the form spec is centered on the leftmost edge. And if I change that to 1, it is centered on the rightmost side, which, there you go, on the rightmost side. I'm going to change that to 0.5. That'll put it to the center, and then in the same fashion, if I change the second one here to zero or one or any number there between, I can adjust where it shows on the screen. So I'm going to keep it at 2.5 because, or uh, 0.25 because that works pretty well for the 12 by 14 size. Um, obviously, the player inventory is now you know, in a, in a terrible spot. So we need to change that. Um, I'll maybe bump it up to seven. Okay, that was a lot higher than it needed to be. Now, if I did a little bit of basic math, I could, you know, know what and where to put it without having to just try around, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having this. There we go, that's fixed now. So that's in a good spot where it's not uh, not being covered over by something else which, you know, it's usually a good thing where you don't want stuff piling on top of other things. Um, we can also, and literally anything that a form spec supports, this will support because this is my test itself running. So as soon as something is added into the engine, um, it'll be supported. So we have the background color, which we can do Whoops, I keep hitting enter instead of save. Um, I forget exactly what these different things do. You have true, which I don't know what true does. Okay, true draws it all as the background. False only colors the foreground. Both does the foreground and background. So tan is the foreground, gray is the background. I can change that to green. And you see that's the background and we can do neither which this is the sky color that is showing through um i think that actually might be a bit of the sunrise or something in the bottom corner of the screen there not entirely sure i'm going to go ahead and put this back to both uh now this is a simple color spec or whatever it's called so you can use actual hex values um I think you can use RGBA. Anything, again, that my test supports, you can use in these fields here. You have your labels, you have your buttons, um, text areas, everything like that. Now, I do have an exit button here, which is this grab a parts request form button. Um, and if you use a button underscore exit, that'd be this one right here. When you click on it, it actually will shut the game down because you're exiting the form spec and because the game literally is nothing but a form spec um yeah it will exit it normal buttons such as this one up here uh you can click obviously nothing happens but that is to be expected you could do drop downs again anything you can do in a form spec you can do in here just what makes this really handy is instead of constantly making some changes to your form spec, then relaunching my test, waiting for the world to load, doing whatever you're doing to pull up the form spec, be it a chat command or punching a note or whatever. That takes a lot of time. This is instant. You make a change, you save, it updates. That was a bad change to make because you couldn't see it. Let me, let me make it a change where you can see it. There you go. It's, it's instant. It's, it's swell. I'm confused as to why that doesn't come out the same size as this. Because it, it really should, because this is uh, eight wide and four tall, but evidently that doesn't work. Um, also, I think it supports the different form spec versions. There we go. So form spec version two does not support the bg color element who knew so you get uh you get this so if you are building and you're targeting certain form spec versions um that also just changed something although i don't know what specifically good to know good to know 
uh, you can also you can also make errors and uh, it, it won't really cause any issues like if I define something without a size or if I put a typo into an element um, it'll give me error messages which are currently being covered by this so let me go ahead and change this position to be centered so we can read the chat messages here uh, generate image couldn't load an image for that yeah we already knew that there's an invalid position for element button specified which is only a value of one which would be for um, something which button that would be the exit button there's only one value specified obviously it has to have two buttons specified the this one doesn't give an error at all surprisingly and I thought it would say something like you know it's not a valid um, option or something I don't know but suffice it to say this makes creating and editing form specs a gajillion times easier because now all you have to do is literally copy it paste it into you know the actual mod that you're creating um, and then you know I don't know what happens if I do this does it break things it does seem to break things if I put the the periods in to join the strings together but all you have to do is copy this text out and you can actually um, kind of cheat to join them all together and just do a really simple what would that be that would be a replace and you just search for the closing square back bracket and you replace with closing square bracket in the two periods replace all and then just go in and manually clear out the last two that'll completely eliminate my entire sample that I'm creating here but now it's ready to go for your code or if you're building your form spec in a fashion where you don't have to um, join all the strings together to make it a long string which I suppose there's probably ways that you could do that uh, yeah you, you could do that as well so that's that's basically it now when you run this you do need to change one file in you need to change one file you need to change a entry in the mind test dot conf file which is some place um, I probably should have blah 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 I probably should have uh, had that set up here before I started this I believe it's secure here we go trusted yeah so you need to add to your mind test con file secure trusted underscore mods equals form spec underscore edit uh, if you don't do that you can't do the real-time editing in fact I don't think it'll actually load the game at all um, I don't think I can actually edit this file while mind test is running but let's try yeah see it it was just fine um, okay let's okay it still work clearly it hasn't actually reread the file I'll just exit mind test pull it back up um, oh let's reload this file first because that'll put it back in we want it to be out we'll save the file open mind test um, tell this to open mind test again this is going to be a uh, a great super high quality okay here we go now we can hit play game okay that's that's peculiar it still works even though it's not set as a I am very confused did something change since then I don't know basically um if you have issues with it not working you may need to set secure trusted mod on form spec editor 
it, the first time I ran it, I needed to, and now for some reason I don't need to anymore. Maybe an update made that not necessary anymore? Not sure. If you have the issue, though, you know how to fix it. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could go through and demonstrate every single form spec option that's available, but I, I really don't see the point of it. It's going to display exactly as a form spec would in game because it is in game. So you can do your, you know, your, what do they call that? The nine, nine slice thing with the different textures for the corners and the center body and yada, 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 all that good stuff. You can do it. It's super easy. Links are all on my website, which is linked down in the video description below. If you make form specs, you should probably be using this tool because this legitimately is very, very helpful. That's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another mod review. And even though this one wasn't actually a mod review. And I will see you then.